Hello and welcome back to the Magic Paul Grid. My name is Andre. Andre, you're back. You, you just missed our special guest. That's such a shame. My name is Patrick, by the way. Hey, Patrick. Thanks for joining us. This is round one, game two of BD's, BD Cosmos Winter Kit. Right. This is the first winter kit that we had in Montreal. A lot of people showed up. I think we had 22 players, which uh, makes five rounds. That was five rounds. It was a huge turnout. Yeah. And uh, everything up to Dad and Destiny is legal because, of course, we're still waiting on Caligoda. Yep. Even now, a month in the future. Still on the boat. Uh, we don't know where that is. But uh, this is... Yeah, so this is the 19th of December. Yep. This is before the most wanted list was even announced. So we're playing some old school 2015 Netrunner, as you oh, yeah. probably Back know. in the day. Back in the day. I was a babe then. <laughs> I mean, uh, in the young sense. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Well, uh, uh, okay. uh, on the left, we have me. Uh, that's myself. I am playing Reyna Roja, the Red Queen herself. That is a nice alt art you yeah, have from participating in the regionals. Right. Uh, uh, and Jerome is playing Blue Sun. Yeah. So That's cool. I think Glacier Blue Sun is in a really good spot right now, specifically even after the most wanted list. I don't think they get impacted by the most wanted list in the not, slightest. Not too badly. No. Yeah. Maybe you had some NPDs in there. I don't think they're you necessary. You might have, but otherwise, oh, you might have had Eli. No, probably you wouldn't. No, you, I don't of course think not. You'd but I'm, I'm crazy. But uh, so I think it's a really good spot. You can put some defensive upgrades in there. You have really, really good ice, and you have this sort of economic flexibility that is no other. Uh, no other identity Absolutely has. Absolutely, the most flexible yeah. economy. Which in our meta, uh, the Montreal meta, which does have a lot of um, real pressure-heavy decks, uh, yep. maybe some Siphon Spam, a lot of Vamps are going around. Uh, a lot of, uh, even Reyna, I think I've seen a couple times now. Yeah, I think she's catching on. Even I've been playing Reyna lately. Yeah, Reyna's been a lot of fun. So I think Blue Sun's in a really good spot right now. Um, the particular deck that I'm playing is actually something I found off the Stimhack forums. Cool. Uh, this was created by... Two people, I believe, um, with a name that go under the names TF34 and Crunchums. Uh, how I found this is there's, a, there's another YouTube channel, a guy named uh, Chris. He has a channel, Kiv, is what he plays under on okay, Octagon. Cool. Kiv. Um, and he does a video a day, and he's been playing this Reyna Headlock deck for almost a month now. <laughs> and I really enjoy it. It involves Desperado and Lampreys. Uh, we'll see how that works in a bit, but uh, right now let's start face checking some ice. Yeah, looks like you face checked a Caduceus. You don't want him to get that three credits. Yes. You're willing to pay through that. So Reyna, li little, uh, people often forget, but Reyna does. She does start with Link. Link, which is really good in the meta, I think, right now. Oh yeah, there's so much tracing going on. Yeah, a lot of tracing. Um, spending four, uh, four credits to res uh, Caduceus. Yep. And not getting any money from it is pretty rough. He's not even getting the full thing back. Yes, not at all. Uh, this turn, you know what? I think I might actually take five clicks. Yeah, I totally think I take five clicks. That's not something you should be doing in Netrunner. Bad, that, Andre, that bad. That is against the rules. Don't worry, folks. I'll take care of this later. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, I really like Jerome Lu Sun play. One of the things that he does that, uh, or doesn't do more in particular that a lot of other people do is he does not bounce ice. For instance, a lot of people right there would have <laughs> bounced cool. the Caduceus yeah. and put it back in hand so they have money, so that they can thread in money or something like that. Right. But he won't do that. He'll just keep it down. Uh, Overstate I is going to get... David for it. That's yeah. cool. So that's an, an interesting trade. I want to make sure... Did he pay an additional one to res that with Overstate? Oh, no, no, of course it not. ignores course, all yeah. costs. Right. Yeah. Um, so we now have that Lamprey out. If I can run HQ, we can get some money out of it. But Caduceus is going to be res again for four credits. Uh, let's do that trace again, and I think I should ought to pay two credits just to deny. For sure, yeah. Um, paying one more credit to get an access when the lamprey is not going to work is not that good. And here's the part where I begin to doubt this matchup. Lamprey is amazing against so many decks right now in the meta, but Blue Sun cannot be Lamprey because locked. Because Blue Sun can go down to zero if they yes. and they're they're free to do what they want afterwards. So. Yeah. So you can easily pull back your cards if you don't want that. Uh, we have an inject coming out, and we're going to see. We're going to dig right now. Um, that is a David, and that David is going to go into the bin. That's too bad. David's what you really want to see. Yeah, David is what I want right now. I do have a clone chip, so I can pull an instant David at any point in time. Sure. Uh, we'll get some money with a dirty laundry. So right now, I have more money than Blue Sun, and that is a good space to be. Yep. Uh, I do have some Mimic in my, d in my uh, deck, so I could start paying money to deny Blue Sun money by lampering through the... Caduceus, but yeah, again, you but again, can't lock Blue Sun, which is right. really difficult. I mean, it's frustrating, Yeah, but it's not as frustrating as it could be with anyone else. It's yeah. not that strong a strategy anymore. And now he's at 9 credits, so... Yeah, so uh, it's 
that's just the nice slow play that I think Jerome is playing, and I see him do this time and time again whenever he plays against uh, some sort of uh, economy denial decks, sure. in which he'll just credit, credit, credit usually, or credit, credit in advanced board state. Yep. Real slow, real methodical, never rushing out and overextending to a point which Anarch should really capitalize on. Yep. You put down the Caduceus and surprise somebody with uh, de-rezzing ice on R&D, and then you can go for a keyhole or something crazy like that. Sure. So you got to watch out for that. So an interesting thing about this headlock deck is that it's very breaker light. I think it runs two David, maybe one or two Faust, but those are backups considering it doesn't have that strong of a draw engine. In fact, it has no draw engine besides event cards. Okay, interesting. And then one Mimic, and that's it. All right. Yeah. That's brave. I've been playing. I've been playing a lot of this online, and it's been go working really well. Uh, there is not many pieces of ice that you can't deal with. You do have Parasites, which help. Not yeah. that useful in the Blue Sun matchup. You also have some Cutlery and some Data Suckers, so you can do a lot of ice destruction. Yeah, yeah you can make it work. Yeah. So it's not that big of a problem. Uh, code Gates are something you have to worry about. Uh, you really want to trash some of that stuff because you can't keep going through it. Yeah, you need to trash those ASAP. Yeah. Uh, so he's at a lot of money right now, and he has not even been returning cards to him. No, not at all. And I've spent the first couple turns trying to get economic dominance, uh, yeah. forcing the ice rises, and already Jerome's at 20 credits. And you don't even have much of a rig right now. The clone I chip, don't. that's pretty solid, but... Clone chip is okay. Uh, Jerome is going to block off that uh, the archives, because um, Parasite is only good in Blue Sun if you have Data Sucker tokens. Yep. Because you can instant Parasite, otherwise the... Otherwise the Parasite ice... goes away with the ice. Yeah, gets bounced Ugh. back, which is never good. No. So Too bad for Parasite. I mean, that card, it, <laughs> it really hasn't seen its time to shine. Yeah, I know. I think and eventually... Blue Sun comes out, just ruins it. The identities will shift to a point where it becomes good. Mm -hmm. uh, I do have a Faust in hand. And I actually... I have not ascertained what kind of Blue Sun there is, this is. It could easily be a vegan Blue Sun. Yeah, that could be fun. But it's also very easy just to include three Scorched Earth in just about any Wayland deck. It is, but you can threaten meat damage without having meat damage. Yeah, that's true. Um, so I don't want to Faust away my whole hand. That seems really risky. That's also pretty risky. We do so, uh, have an oversighted current wall. Okay, he's he's going to have lots of money. Yes. If I can trash that, that denies uh, 14 credits. Right, but that's going to be hard to trash. It is. I'm going to have to go through another piece of ice and then pull a David. So that's probably going to be a clone ship done, another David done. Yep. Uh, You're let's injecting go, first. Okay. Go find some more stuff. So oh, crescentus, that's solid. Yeah, this deck has three crescentus, and it's huge against any big piece of ice. Yep. If they res a curtain wall and you can de-res it, that is a swing of fifteen credits, and yep. then they can decide to res it again if they like, and that's sure. probably another 14, 15 credits down if you can just clone ship back the crescentus. Uh, really strong the the econ denial. Um, we have a mimic. Yeah, you've got your mimic. Now things are, are in a good spot for you. Yeah. Uh, there's been no agendas moving as of yet, so we can probably... Probably something in HQ. You also don't know whether this Blue Sun is the kind of deck that will run really large agendas, even government takeover. Yeah, it which, might be. Which makes the density really, really low. So single accesses are not worth that much. They're not. The, they're, you have such a low chance of seeing what you need to see. Yeah. Oh, Data Bike. I love seeing that card in Blue Sun. That is an amazing card for Blue Sun. It is punishing to face check, and uh, you can return that once it becomes irrelevant if the right. dog comes to the table. For sure. But I'm going to hit that and bounce. I didn't realize, and I'm not sure whether it is the best play, but Jerome asks after. He's like, hey, you know, you could have uh, clone chipped for a Parasite and then clone chipped for a David. That's what I was thinking. It would have denied about uh, 18 credits. Yeah. But it also would have used up two, two of, of your the three precious, precious clone, clone chips. chips. So I'm not sure whether I made the right choice there. Um, but I can continue. I can just Parasite down that data pike, data pike still if I want to. Yeah. And you know, now you're, the other servers are all the more open for you. Yeah, yeah. Totally. And you've got Crescentus to bring in too. So yep. de-resing the curtain wall is nearly as bad as trashing it. Yes. Uh, yeah, I'd rather trash it, I think. Yeah, maybe. Um, another ice is going to hit R&D. And that's pretty good. Uh, there is a Mimic on the table. I think Jerome did probably forget to pay the extra credit. It is really hard in the Reyna matchup. I mean, really easy to um It's, it's easy to, to forget. forget. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, you always have to remind people. Yeah, did you pay five for that? Yeah. Um, and that's what Reyna does. Like, paying five for a spider web is a lot. Yeah, it is. Blue Sun can probably deal with it, but it in changes any... the proposition. Like, in a Gagarin, that's devastating. Not mm -hmm. devastating, but that's, that's a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, I don't have a good answer to that. Spiderweb, so let's parasite through that. The library that seems like a pretty good answer to it. Yeah, it's a good answer. The library does hit, losing one credit out of twenty-four, and we do hit the GFI. Okay, so you've got an agenda. 
very few credits. He's got lots of credits, and he made a successful run. So when I see GFI, I have no doubt that there's going to be some uh, defensive upgrades in this deck if he wants probably. to score that. Yep. Uh, probably not punitive counter-strike, considering that agenda it does not punitive counter-strike well. That's a good point. Uh, so probably a reasonable agenda spread. Not that yeah. I don't think yeah, probably not maybe. government take. I mean, it could be. Who knows? Who knows? It would be it would be very strange to see them both in the deck, though. Yeah. Right. Uh, so I'm just gonna make some money. I do have two I've had worse in hand, so I'm not that concerned about okay, some good. of the Caesar Scorch. That's right. Yeah. I gotta hold on to those as long as I can. Uh, you see there, I throw out the spoon and the Faust. I think the spoon might be one of my only answers to trashing certain code gates. Yeah, but you might be expecting him not to have too many code gates. Yeah. Because he's playing Wayland, I guess. Yeah. Well, there's a code gate on the table that is going to either is. be that parasited. There is. That is frustrating. Yeah, par that's something to deal with. I think Tollbooth is also really good in Blue Sun. Any ice that is really uh, punishing to face check is really sure. good. Uh, you don't want to run into the Tollbooth just to lose three credits. That's awful. And then they right, can bounce absolutely. it back. Yeah. Uh, looks like we are going to run <laughs> RD. Assassin! And here we hit an Assassin. And this well, I love that card. This One of my favorite new pieces. Such a good card, let alone in, in uh, Blue Sun. For so many reasons, I think that might be the one card that is the most face uh, punishing to face check in the yeah. whole game. By uh, far. I think. Probably. Unless I mean, a Shinobi can kill you. Unless a Shinobi can kill you, Kamainu. You know, I guess Kamainu, I, I mean, yeah, yeah. You know, Assassin, it does it does a few things pretty well. Yes. Kamainu does one thing very well, and Shinobi really well. does one thing extremely well. Um, and this is the beginning of uh, where I start realizing some really uh, cool things about including things like uh, Assassin in a Blue Sun deck. Is that it really messes with the math on David? It really does. That's great. Because if I want to use two counters on there, ah, that's a, I can't get through a current wall anymore. Right? Yeah, it becomes really difficult. Yeah, Assassin's a very good proposition in Blue Sun. I like that a lot. Yes. It makes me want to build a Blue Sun that has Assassin in it now. Oh, it's wonderful. Even throwing that into any deck that has a lot of money is totally worth oh, it. Oh, yeah, I think a one of surprise in any, so many different decks. Anything can do it. So I only have six credits. I do have some money. I mean, sorry, some Link and some money. So we could do the Trace game if I want, uh, if uh, wanted. The I've had worse in hand is pretty good uh, for taking some net damage, but it looks like I'm going to get through there, get a data sucker token, and we see the first Scorched Earth that... Okay, so not vegan. Not vegan at all, and that is pretty worrisome. But you're sitting pretty with two I've had worse. Yeah. You're gonna yeah, do okay. That's true. Maybe. Has he seen those I've had worse with Inject? Uh, no, I don't think okay, so. No, cool. I think they've sent through. So, uh, if there's a Scorched Earth, you need to be able to tag the runner. Yes. So, uh, Sea Source. Sea Source is a good one. Uh, Mid-Seasons is something that's easily doable in Blue Sun. You bounce yep. your most expensive piece of ice after posted, they steal. Yeah. Posted uh, Bounty. Posted Bounty is such a terrifying card in Blue yeah. Sun. Um, you have to run basically any install of Vance Advance if you are not prepared to die. Or Absolutely. at least come close to dying next turn. And Posted Bounty doesn't still doesn't see a, a lot of play. No, it doesn't. So... You don't always expect it. Yeah, I think a lot what of people forgot about it. What if someone 24-7 to Posted Bounty? 24-7 Posted Bounty is huge. Yeah. Um, one thing worth noting, and I've considered it, uh, you, if you've seen the last game, or a couple of games on this channel, I've been a big fan of the Accelerated Diagnostics combo. Oh, oh yeah. And one thing of the Accelerated Diagnostics card, it says that if you fire, any card that you fire with Accelerated Diagnostics, you don't have to pay any extra costs. Right. You have to pay the main cost, but no extra clicks, no yes. extra costs. So 24-7 news, uh, news Stop it. Does Stop, not, you, you stop it right you now. You don't have to forfeit an agenda. You stop that right now. It's awesome. No. Yeah, it's really good. I'm gonna have to look that up, even though I know you're right. No, no, it's it's great. So <laughs> I'm in theory, so bothered. You by can this. score one uh, false lead, and that's it. Oh god. And a 24 cycle mid season scorch. Seems good. Yeah, but post a bounty, you mean? Oh, sorry, post a bounty. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Uh, we have a street peddler hitting the table. I think underneath there is a keyhole. I think it's the only. Oh, that is the only card that I saw go under that uh, underneath there. Uh, keyhole is really cool in this deck. This deck can really get a lion prey lockdown, and then yep. at that point you can finish off with the keyhole. I think keyhole is a really yeah, nice, nice finisher. Uh, you just get a couple runs in there. Maybe some sort of gelato. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're gonna run HQ. Assassin I, number two. No, yeah, data pike. easily could be assassin number two, but data pike is also annoying. In theory, again, we could clone chip for a parasite, but I think Ooh. my clone chips are now David only, maybe Crescentus. You think so? You don't think it's worth parasiting that that data pike right now? <sighs> if I don't get the Faust out, there's no other way to deal with the data pike in this deck. Right, and you you have a Faust in archives. Yeah. I do in, have a Faust in archives. Yes, in my heap. Yeah. Um, either that, it's fast parasite or spooned, and I think all those have gone into the trash. 
I know the two, uh, the large change that was, be not large, there's only one card that was between like TF34's deck and Kiv's deck was either a Deja Vu or a Spoon. Okay. And the Spoon is really good against uh, high strength kill gates. Uh, I think there's a lot of toll booths floating around right now. Archangel, oh, yeah. also really annoying. <laughs> Archangel was about to say. Yeah. yeah. But Deja Vu does give you flexibility. Uh, you can pull back any piece you need. Another David is Absolutely. good. Absolutely, yeah. I think I went for the Spoon variant. Yeah, I think you saw the Spoon before. Uh, same thing is going to be in their remote. Let's run at it, see if we get some ice reses. You want ice to be res anyways. Uh, another assassin, Yay, for, assassin for 8 credits is okay. So the traces are 5 and 4. That's correct. The, the, Even with your 1 link, those are hefty traces. Those are hefty traces. I do have 2 data sucker tokens and a mimic though. So for 2 credits, we could get in there. Good point. Yeah. Um, on the fact that he did not res an ice that ends the run makes me unsure whether I want to go in there. Sure you want to go in there. Go on! I what? doubt it's go an on. agenda. Go on. We can... I'm trying to see what I have in archives for this. There is a David in there. You could pull that back. You could pull a Crescentus too. Can you use one David counter on the one that's remaining, then pull back the other one from archives to use the next one? I don't... It's all one paid ability window? think so. Later on in this video, me and Jerome stopped to talk about that. Oh, really? Okay. And we decided that at that point we didn't know, so we weren't going to do it. Okay. But I'm not sure, because I... I'm not sure whether you have the paid ability window. I think it comes before. Uh, the breaking, breaking subs is a paid ability. Right? Right? I'm not sure. I have to look I, okay. into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do the research up. and put a thing on the bottom of the screen at some point. Okay. It uh, looks like we're just going to mimic through that. And it actually is a Cyberdex virus tweet. Uh, <laughs> Jerome could have read that and put me in a really bad spot. I, that was nice. Yeah, I don't know if he, he didn't realize that. or he CBS was just, is also very good in a blue sun deck. Yeah. Because that's, that's three credit swing that you can get back when you need. Oh, well, you have to trash it if you want to use the ability. That's true. So you, you won't do. get the money yeah. back. That's, you're right, right. Um, install events, events into that server. It's going to okay. get a hostile takeover. Oh, you can score those one from, just from hand, right? Yeah, you can score those from hand. Cool. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, so 15 credits to one bad pub. That bad pub is actually pretty good against things like Assassin, things like Caduceus. It yeah. does help with the trace. I already have one link. Uh, so we do have some money to use on that. And you know what? I don't have that good of a board state right now, I'll be honest. I don't think this... Uh, Time to just get some money, hunker down. Yeah, kind of have to hunker down. Uh, yeah, this is going to be uh, probably going for the long game here. Yeah, huh? I mean, R&D is kind of open. R&D is my best bet. Yep. I don't think single accesses are worth it. Right. I guess oh, any I think sort I see of some big agendas glacier in. ice. Uh, we have an install in that server. And just take a credit. And you see this what Joram does usually install advances board state, takes money. That's yep. all his turn. He doesn't want to overextend, not install two ice, sure, nothing like why that. Not? That's crazy. Yeah. And I don't think I'm putting the kind of pressure on him where he's forced to rush. Nope. There is pretty substantial ice on every server right now, and I don't it doesn't look like I can I'm able to break that stuff repeatedly. Not without taking some hits yourself. Yeah, without taking a lot of hits. Okay, you're so protected from beat damage right now though. I am I really beat damage protected. Wars. I do also have a Desperado in my hand. Six influence in this deck went to two of Desperados. Uh, it's so much for the most wanted list. Yeah. But Desperado is so good, especially with things like Lamprey. You can make yep. the Corp lose money while gaining money. Mm. However, in this matchup, I don't think I'm ever going to stall a Desperado on the basis that I... It's going to be so hard to get the successful runs. Yes. They'll be so taxing in the first place. You can't afford the tempo loss from paying three credits. Yes. If, if turn one, maybe I'd consider it, but this late in the game, I don't think it's worth my time and money. Nope. I'd rather just take some credits. Uh, I do have some money at this point, 10 credits and a bad pub. Something is in that server. If that's an atlas, that could go right now. Uh, but looks like probably not. Hedge fund, make some money. That's okay. okay. Uh, right. so not not an agenda, maybe. It might not be, but at this point, even with all the money in the world, playing these operations still looks okay. Yep. Uh, Jerome does check his archives at that point. Makes me think that there's either an interns or hand in hand, or that might be a Jackson. One of those cards is a Jackson. That's a good point. That's right. Or maybe an archive memories too. It's also a decent card. Well, you really have to uh, so memorize what's in archives. You never give anything away. When you <laughs> yeah, exactly. Up. Or install an agenda. And then look at archives, archives yeah. like, oh, what three cards am I going to bring back? That'll yeah. be fine. Yeah. Uh, Crescent is on the table. Huge piece of tech against Big Ice. Uh, really hurts Blue Sun. You can derez a card so they can't bounce it, and then they lost the money. Yeah. Uh, the investment money on that. And if you never run that server again, they'll never be able to return it to hand. It is a loss of money. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, oh. I do, do really like Crescent is against Blue Sun, for sure. Yeah. I just wish you had some data sucker tokens. Data sucker tokens are a premium at this point. Uh, no surge in this deck. 
Surge is a cool card. I gotta start playing with that. Uh, let's <laughs> check that server. That is actually the Jackson Howard. It looks like um, he's not even Jerome not using it. Is n opting not to use that. Not too much you want to return. Maybe an oversight AI and a curtain wall. But money seems okay. Uh, looks like I'm gonna trash that for two with the bad pub. Right, you got the bad pub. Yeah. Now he's regretting that hostile takeover. <laughs> not even. Oh, <laughs> hey, that's a project Atlas. Yep. Um, so that is three points on the table. That is pretty, pretty good spot. I don't. I'm pretty sure the piece of ice in front of that assassin is a curtain, curtain wall. wall. Yeah, I'm sure it's a curtain wall. Yeah, so that is going to take a whole lot of David tokens or some data suckers. And, and you uh, can't even squeeze another program out there right now. I can't. Um, another problem that I have I know I run into in this game is to uninstall a card, you need to install a card. Yep. And there's a limited amount of cards, considering I threw out two lampreys. <laughs> I don't have many programs else in the deck. Okay, cycling is Street Peddler. That's, That's what... Cycle Peddlers, yeah. That is so Street Peddler. Yeah. Um, under that peddler, I think I saw a daily cast, a clone chip, and a parasite. I think that clone chip is probably the where clone that chip is street probably peddler's the best at. Price, but yeah. That is a pocket David out of nowhere. Um, not, yeah. Let's see what we can do here. Yeah. So I could start, in theory, we could pull... We okay. can pull the Faust right, and start hitting uh, HQ. Looks like we're going to chop at R&D. Uh, clone chipping in, that is the David. Extra, might as well. Alright, so we have four David counters on the table. Okay. Probably gonna use... Probably gonna de-res that, uh, Two assassin. of them? Yeah, I think you should. It is a bit of a tempo hit. Yeah. You could then rerun and see if there'll be a res. But yeah, looks like we're gonna crescentus that down. No. So that is an eight credit loss. Assassin goes to sleep. Yeah, and for two credits... Uh, one of those is a bad pub at some point. Single axis. That <laughs> you're frustrated. Uh, I'm pretty okay, sure yeah. I yelled, yeah, yay, single axis. Uh, <laughs> just a spider web. You're so fun to play against. Yeah, yeah it's really charming. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think single axis is the way, unless so, there is government takeover. So you took one counter off of each David. I did. I think that's optimal. Okay, um, I think it's optimal to leave one counter. Uh, cause well, because what if he trashes one? If Okay, if there's program trashing... Yeah, that's fine. But I think what I'd rather do is be able to install something be able to, to throw a David. Trash one of the yeah, yeah, so I can get an empty David in the bin. Uh, okay. We have another hostile takeover. 24 credits for Jerome. That okay. uh, hiccup on the assassin is nothing more than a hiccup at this point. Right. You've got two bad pub. Yeah, two bad pub is pretty good. Yeah. So Jerome is winning, but he looks bad. <laughs> yeah, the people don't like him. Yeah. I think an old net runner, if you had maybe seven... Seven bad pub, the you, runner wins. The runner wins. And bad pub was as much in the runner's control as it was in the corpse. The runner yeah. could, like, really force on the bad pub. Yeah, spin cycle. Uh, not sure what happened there, but... Um, well, Order and Chaos kind of fixed it. Yeah, a little I, bit. I, I think they did. Uh, so... So, the bad pub tells me at least there's no NAPD. That's a good point. So, that's something, I guess. Yeah, that's some information that you have that he doesn't know you have. Yeah. <laughs> Until he scores that NEPD for six for advancement six tokens, advancement and, tokens which you can and do. doesn't even win. Yeah. So four to two, the money keeps coming in. Jerome, why is he even play that? In no funds. rush. Yeah. I think against uh, you, you just you can never be sure because at some point I could easily vamp. Sure. My turns are going really slow right now, yeah. which involves usually draw a card, take two, three credits, like I am doing right now. Yep. So at some point I will overtake him. Jerome does have to spend money, resing ice, and uh, scoring agendas. Right. So the, I think what you want to happen is you want to bait him sea sourcing and scorching you. Yeah, I, w I don't think he needs to, but he oh, but your deck could. is almost done. <laughs> and my deck is running the end. Uh, at some point, I've had worse. Doesn't matter if you don't have cards to draw. That's what I've heard. Yeah. It turns out I have had worse. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I mean, I haven't had worse. I'm sorry. That could have been funny. Can we edit? Uh, no, we can't. No. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> uh, we're going to chop that server. There's a new card in there. Uh, for... 15, 15 credits. There's the curtain we wall. We have a curtain wall. That means Bounce. there's probably an agenda in there. Now, if you can get him to spend that 17 remaining credits. Yes, that would be lovely. Uh, he would probably return something to hand at that point. That's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah, please not, huh? But you're going to play employee strike. Yes. Right? No, I don't Okay, I'm yet. sorry. Uh, I'm going to install a data sucker for hand because this is the problem where I realized, oh, my David is in the heap, but I have no yep. way to bring it. I have a way to bring it back. But I have no way to put it into the heap to bring it back. Luckily, I did have another uh, data sucker in the last three cards of my deck. Cool. 
So you installed the data circuit to trash David, yes. and you got the cone chip under the street peddler. I have that. That's your game plan right now. And yep. That in theory is the game plan. Uh, we're gonna run. A good thing to do all this, uh, all this clone chipping and street peddling during a run is I do have the bad pub to use. Yep. So you can install that, David, for one credit. For a nice one credit. Uh, we don't need to overwrite the data sucker, that's fine. And I have three counters on there. So in theory, we can break through everything. Um, and uh, But that is going to put us in a place where we have no breakers. Yep. For the rest of the game, Maybe ideally. you'll just take the net damage? Taking the net damage is probably okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now, are we sure we're pronouncing David right? Because there's a four in there. Yeah, there's also a one. Do? There's also a one. D4, V1, D. Yeah, that rolls off the tongue. Uh, you know what? It looks like I'm just going to end the run at that point. We had a bit of discussion about that. Okay. And I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to choose to end the run. The card in there, uh, I mean, let's you see still if got to use the bad pub. It. Yeah, it's totally fine for the bad pub. I did reveal my hand a bit, but it's no surprise that I could pull back a David. He did sure, not see yeah. the third clone chip, and I assume there would be three in the deck, or I assume he would assume. We have an upgrade on HQ. Oh I think boy. he just put that down. So. And then one more on R&D, because he doesn't want to lose this game. Yes. That he is so close to winning. So I have no doubt Jerome does fear the vamp. And I'm just taking, I think, four credits that turn. Yeah. So, so you're thinking that's a Chrysium. Definitely Chrysium. Yeah, yes, for sure Chrysium. Maybe even Ash, but probably Chrysium. Uh, something installed into that server. So I'm lucky I didn't spend all five David tokens going in there, because it right. was just an upgrade. Uh, that's probably an agenda. I don't think you stack upgrades that often in Blue Sun. Uh, it could be something cool like off-the-grid Chrysium. But, uh, hey, that is why I didn't run. Knifed. <laughs> we can actually knife something. That is a 15-credit sink, which is pretty good. Give that the slash. Yep. Using all... Are you going to keep going? Or are you ending after the... There we go. Okay. We're going to go it. Uh, yep. Yeah. We have a Caprice. Yes, Caprice. Yes. There so... we go. I think that's a really, really good splash in a deck that runs all the strongest ice. You oh, yeah. cannot rerun through a Kern Wall Assassin nope. two, three times to contest a 33% chance of winning. Let's do two oh, to two. Oh my goodness. Yes. You win the Psy game. Uh, let's trash Caprice for the bad pub. And we and only one get more, one more agenda point. Futurist now. Yay. Uh -huh. That's all right. I'm at that's three right. points. Yeah. You stopped him. You made that server weak. Yeah, that server is now weak. I made uh, 15 credits. I took 15 credits off the board. That's right. Which is not too bad at all. Not too shabby. Um, I've seen shabbier. The Futures Now is a really cool agenda. Uh, it yep. kind of scares me because Jerome is looking for a one-of in his deck of some sort. Yeah. Could be a mid-season, could be a sea source. So that is something to worry about. Uh, looks I like play a, a lot of Futures Now in my 24-7 personal evolution deck. Oh, yeah, right. Wait, look at the Philotic thing. And yeah. Yeah. Philotic is really great for that. Yeah. Um, so, another piece of ice goes in front of the assassin. Okay, curtain wall number two. <laughs> Easily could be a curtain wall. It looks like the only thing right now I could break is sentries. And I do not have any... I only have two cards left in my stack. I yeah. know there's an assassin there. Let's see if Jerome will res the first piece of ice. If he doesn't, I could easily jack out. And it looks for, for five credits. That is a spider web. Three subs, two strength. Not too nothing, bad. Nothing you can do about it. Nothing I can do about crucial. it right now. Uh, let's see what the last two cards of my deck are. Uh, sure, Gamble, that's money. Yeah, there you go. That's money. That's also technically Assassin Fuel, if you need to take some net damage. Yep. Uh, let's play an Interns for two clicks, put the Caprice back <laughs> in that server. That's too bad. That's a really bad spot. I don't think I can contest that server anymore. There's only so many times no, I can go through an Assassin. For sure. And those uh, I've had worses aren't going to cushion you anymore. No, not so good. That much more. Uh, draw the last card there. I think that's a Crescentus. Yeah. That would be nice to see. Let's throw that down on the table. Um, mm. Take some money. No cards left. A handful, though. There could be easily a levy in hand. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. That'd be cool. Oh, there isn't, but Jerome oh, could I'm think sorry. there yeah, is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah maybe, maybe there no, is. No, there is not, but it's okay. very easy for Jerome to think there is. Yeah. Uh, it won't, it will change, not change the game. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. But he might think it, which would be funny. Just like the flavor text on Curtain Wall is funny. So... 15 credits no for the last curtain wall. And you know what? The, that last subroutine on curtain wall actually fires. It ends the game. Oh, you okay, good. At this point, I have no more breakers in my deck. My hand is all I've had worse. Yeah. And a knife it's, it's and just, a sure gamble. Yeah. I concede. I probably played this very poorly. Well, that's the first time I've seen a game concession where I was, I thought, yep, 
Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah you, that concession is totally fair. I totally do not believe in conceding a game. Like, say, the, uh, the you make your eye and lose six points off the top of R&D turn one. You can still win. I can't win anymore. It's, no, you, it's you impossible. literally cannot. It's, you cannot get through those cards. Yeah, there's a... That's a, too bad, run. but it was fun to watch. Yeah. So that Blue Sun matchup is actually really, really bad. Uh, after that... Jerome was we're talking about the deck. He's like, "What? You don't have a Yogg or a Croter?" And I said, "No." It's like, "Oh, <laughs> dang it!" Um, <laughs> Gosh darn it! For what it's worth, over the whole dang day, uh, Jerome and I are not going to show up anymore on camera. But the first game was the only game Jerome lost against uh, my uh, Blue Sun, and yes. <laughs> this is the only game that my Reina lost. Oh, really? Which is really exciting. Uh, it's always really scary to face face up against Jerome uh, first round. Yeah, because Jerome is really strong. He is the ultimate test. Yes, uh, very good test. So I'm okay with that. Uh, that Reyna, you're not going to see that much more on camera, but uh, actually really, really good against everything besides Blue Sun. <laughs> I probably played that really poorly uh, in some ways. I probably should have parasited a lot of small ice and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. But uh, it's a lot of fun. I totally I'll post a deck, deck list. It's made by some other people, and I highly recommend it. It's actually doing a lot of work in the meta right now. It's great. Cool. Well, hey, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We'll have some more stuff coming out soon. Bye, everybody. Ciao. Got wrecked. <laughs> you got wrecked. You I was, got wrecked. Oh man, it's such a bad matchup. Like got wrecked.